Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and today we are unboxing a mystery makeup box from Poshmark. <laughs> new to my channel welcome i do hope you will subscribe i do mostly unboxings fashion makeup and jewelry related subscription box unboxings i do self-care sundays dollar tree hauls and makeup videos so if those are the types of videos that you're into then please join us if you are a subscriber already thank you so much i greatly appreciate each and every one of you i made 1k today yes today i am super excited i'm so excited to be filming this i am so excited to film my 1k giveaway um, I've been waiting, saving up products. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while now, then you probably already know some of the stuff that is in that giveaway. It's going to be huge. It's going to have two winners. It's going to be open internationally. I want all of my subscribers to have a chance to win. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I cannot believe I made 1k finally. I am so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if you are new or unfamiliar with Poshmark, I do have a link in the description box down below. I think you get a $10 coupon code if you sign up through my link and you can use that for anybody's closet. It's just a $10 credit that you get. If you don't feel comfortable signing up from my link, that's fine as well. You can download the Poshmark app. I personally love mystery boxes and makeup mystery boxes and I love getting them off of Poshmark to see the quality. All right, so I was in the middle of telling you guys that I have not opened this box yet and I'm going to be just as surprised as you are on camera when my camera decided to stop recording. So I cut into it and opened it, but I have not seen what's inside yet because I was gonna open this on camera with you guys. So I could be just as surprised as you guys are by what's in this. So um, I have not seen what's in it yet. For some reason, my iCloud storage is always full. Even though I pay for extra storage and I delete everything off my phone as soon as I'm done uploading it, it's still always full. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, back to the box. When you open it up, it looks like this. Everything's covered with this little wrapper, so that is pretty cute. When I peel that away, this is what the contents of the box look like. So let's go ahead and just get started. The very first item that I'm pulling out is right here. It has a little thank you sticker, which is also all over the box, which is super cute. So let me go ahead and open it. Okay, the very first item, unfortunately, I already have this item and have used this item. We got this, I believe, in a Allure box or something like that. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend, and it is a facial oil. I did not care for this oil. It was a little bit too thick of an oil for me. However, my daughter did like it, so she used up my bottle of it. So I will just go ahead and keep it and pass it along to her. Her bottle is almost empty, so a refill is nice. The next item I'm pulling out is right here. Once again, wrapped. Let me go ahead and take it out of the tissue paper. Oh, okay. So the next product is by Tarte. I love Tarte. This is a Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick. I have never tried any of Tarte's bullet lipsticks like this, matter of fact. And I believe the color on the top here is Pink Lemonade, which looks super beautiful. So I cannot wait to see it. Here is what the packaging looks like. It is stunning i love this blue marble effect we got going on here is the actual lipstick oh my gosh it's beautiful this definitely looks like a color i will be able to wear i'm definitely going to swatch this for you guys oh it's gorgeous gorgeous color that is beautiful i cannot wait to actually put this on my lips and wear it i've never tried a tarte bullet lipstick before and i've always seen these rainforest of the sea ones and the colors of them are so pretty so i am so excited for this the next item in the box that I pulled out is just a little headband right here. And these are super cute, but I cannot seem to wear these unless I like put them on my forehead because they just slip right off. My head must be shaped weird or something like that, but I will pass this along to someone who will be able to wear it. It is a very, very cute headband. The next product that I'm pulling out is in a bag here, and it looks like we have two products in here. The first product is by Amika, and this is a Fade Block Pre-Shampoo Color Steel. 
That sounds very interesting. I've never heard of a product like this. If you die, you want to make it last. <laughs> Seal and color brilliance and safeguard strands from wash related stripping and fading thanks to this imperative gel pre-shampoo treatment. This is really super cool. So obviously I do dye my hair um, quite frequently. I think if I left it grow out, it would probably be all gray by now. So I do dye it and um, I'm very interested in this. I've never tried anything like this before, but I will definitely be using this the next time I dye my hair, which will be probably in a, the next month or two. So um, I'm very interested in trying this out. I'm super excited for that. And the other product that was in that bag is by Coors. And this is a nourishing probiotic gel cream. So, um, is this a face wash? Or it's just a, oh, it's just a lotion. Apply to the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. So this is just a Coors nourishing facial lotion. So that is really nice. I have dry skin, so any moisturizing facial lotions, I always like to use those up. Diving back into the box, the next product that I'm pulling out is a little Ipsy bag. So I love seeing recycled Ipsy bags. I use these Ipsy bags for a lot of things. So like if you get Ipsy every month, obviously you're not going to need the bag every month. A lot of times I do use the bags for certain things when they're super, super cute. Sometimes I'll use them for wallets or to-go purses or something like that, but I do recycle them a lot. I donate them to the school a lot because my local school uses them to put feminine hygiene products and such in then um, the students can get them discreetly. So I really do like that. I donate a lot of my bags for that. Inside of the Ipsy bag here, we do have a sheet mask by Pure Lease, Blue Lotus and White Tea. I've used many Pure Lease sheet masks before. They are fabulous. This is a great brand. I love it. And a thank you card. So it says, thanks. Oh, and it has all the prices listed in here so that you know you got your deals worth. Also included freebies, two deluxe samples, one makeup bag, one mask, one headband. Oh, so this is um, my free samples right here so that's pretty cool um it says thank you so much for your purchase i hope you enjoy your goodies so i don't want to read the part that says all the products because i have two more products in here that i haven't opened yet and i don't want to know what they are but um thank you so much for this box i will definitely leave her closet linked in the description box down below so if you guys are interested in getting a box from her you can go ahead and check out the description box to get that information but let me dive back into the box and get another product out so here we go this is the next product let me unwrap it. Okay, so this product right here is a mascara by Victoria Beckham. Um, I think it's black. I've never used a Victoria Beckham mascara before. I've not used very many products um, of Victoria Beckham, I don't think, at all. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what the wand looks like. Oh, that's disappointing. That is not my favorite type of a wand, but I'm sure it will be really good. It probably would be really good for the lower lash line because it's such a small brush. I, I really like the big bristly ones for my lashes, but I will definitely try this. Like I said, I've not, I don't think I've ever tried a product by Victoria Beckham. If I have, it's been one product that I got in my BoxyCharm. But aside from that, I don't recall ever trying any of her products, so I'm super excited to try this mascara. I cannot wait for that. It says it's a smudge-free lifting mascara, so. Diving back into the box, the next product that I'm pulling out is not wrapped, but it is right here, and these are brushes. Oh, and these are the Shania B. Now, I've gotten several of these Shania B brushes in my ipsy bags i got like a the blush one the powder one and the contour one i have never tried any of the eyeshadow ones though so this is really neat kind of completes my set i have all the big powder brushes but none of the eyeshadow ones so, so this is a five piece eyeshadow brush set which is fabulous i will definitely take this i'm a brush hoe so i hate washing them which is why i love getting them because the more you have the less you have to wash them except when you go to wash them it's a million gazillion brushes and it sucks but <laughs> i avoid it at all costs so i will definitely put these in my collection and use them they are super soft I love this type of brush here for my under eye eyeshadow. This is my favorite for doing that. And then these two blending brushes right here are my go-tos for my eyeshadows usually. Love this type of brush to do my eyeshadow with. And then this packer brush right here for shimmer shades or precise shades. And then we just have another little brush right here. This would be like maybe for the um, crease, crease brush. So. Fabulous little set there. Definitely will get use out of that. I love brushes. Okay, and last but not least, we have the final product and the largest product, which I believe is the palette of the box. 
so excited to see what palette this is. I so hope it's not a palette I already have. I do get subscription boxes, so I'm not mad when I get repeat items from subscription boxes. That's part of the deal, and I know that already. I usually pass them along, put them in a giveaway or something like that, but I am so excited to see this palette. I hope I do not have it. So let's go ahead and see what we got. And blah. It is a repeat. I do already have this palette, so that sucks big. But I will definitely take it out and show you guys. It is the Ciate London Editor Palette. It was in the box. It was in BoxyCharm. Everybody probably already has this palette. Here is what the inside of the palette looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before. It has a large mirror. It has lots of colors. This is a great palette for travel, in my opinion, because it has a mix of mattes and shimmers, and it has a mix of cools and warm tones. It has purples, browns, golds, greens, pinks, blues, like everything you would need to make any kind of look really is in this palette. So I do like mine. I do take it quite frequently, like I said, when I travel just because of the a mul multitude of color diversity that's in here. You can make lots of looks with it. So I do like it. I just already have it. So that's a bummer. But I will save this and set it aside for a future giveaway. So that's not bad. I like the fact that I can use these products to do giveaways with. That makes it a little bit more worth it to me to spend the money, but had I gotten this box, not having a YouTube channel, just wanting a makeup box and already having this palette from BoxyCharm, that kind of sucks. But when you do read the descriptions for these boxes, they do tell you that they are subscribers of subscription boxes and that products that they're not going to use are the products that they're putting in these boxes. So obviously, you know, if you are a unboxer, there's a high chance that you're going to get repeat products in these boxes, which I already knew, like I said, going in, not her fault. Has This, this is a great box. Like I said, this is a great palette. Had I not had this palette already, it would be a phenomenal box. I really wish I would have got a palette I didn't have. But like I said, that's the risk you take. I am super, super happy with the brushes I got. Super, super excited about the lipstick that I got. Um, the mascara also, never tried Victoria Beckham, so that is gonna be fun. Um, the Pixie Rose Water, also a repeat item for me, but that's okay, my daughter likes this, so I will give that to her. Then we got the Coors um, Moisturizing Face Gel and the Amika Color Block. I cannot wait to try this for my hair color. That's gonna be super cool and fun to try. So I did get quite a bit of things. Now this box costed me $34. I think the value was definitely there though, like I said. So if you are interested in this box, I will leave a link to the closet that I purchased it from in the description box down below. So go ahead and check it out down there. Otherwise, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for sticking around and unboxing this Poshmark mystery box with me. I had great fun. I think it was definitely a great box. I cannot wait for BoxyCharm to come in this month and we can start unboxing those. They're going to be fabulous. So if you are a subscriber, please hit the gray bell so you don't miss my future uploads. I am going to be doing my 1k giveaway very soon, so please do not miss out on that. If you are a subscriber, I will have two winners. It will be open internationally, so all of you guys can enter. Thank you, thank you, thank Thank you. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I cannot believe I made 1k still. I am still shocked, um, amazed, awed. I am so ecstatic, excited. I cannot wait to start doing lives on my phone and have my community board and stuff like that. I'm super excited for those little things. So anyway, thank you so much to everyone who is a subscriber. I greatly appreciate you all. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I do mostly unboxings, fashion, makeup, and jewelry related subscription box unboxings. So if those are the types of videos that you're into, then please consider joining us. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!